Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Music Update Central, and I am here with Liddy Clark. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So go ahead, tell us about the new single you just released. Well, uh, the last single I released was actually a few months ago, but it was yeah. shot down stand up. And um, I wrote that song because I'm originally from Parkland, Florida. I grew up there. And so I was actually at college at USC when the events of last year happened. And so it just, it really hit home for me with yeah. all the gun violence that has been happening in our country. And I actually, about a year ago, was the Wear Orange event for Parkland. And so they asked me to play at the Parkland Amphitheater, awesome. which is, you know, where I had my first band performance when I was 15. It's where yeah. I really learned how to, like, perform with a band. Yeah. And so I knew that I wanted to write something for it, and I knew that I needed to write something for it, honestly, yeah. just for myself and my sanity. And yeah. so... I, I wrote Shot Down Stand Up because I wanted to put something out there that wasn't super political or super preachy. I just wanted to start the conversation yeah. and be like have people more willing to have a conversation. Yeah, and you know, that's a, definitely the first step in everything. And you know, exactly. you mentioned that you started at a very young age. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 21, just turned 21. 21, yeah. there you go. <laughs> awesome. So getting started in a young age in the yeah. career, how do you feel has that helped you? I feel like it's definitely given me a lot of years of experience as opposed to starting a little bit later, but I feel like it's also given me a, a bit more time to mm -hmm. sort of develop my voice as I'm developing myself as a person because, you know, you're growing and changing a lot during your teen years and even beyond that. And I feel like my songs and my music has changed along with that. And it's been cool to see the evolution of that along with the evolution of me as a person. Yeah. So along your journey, you got to open up for many, many musicians. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about that and what's that like? Oh man, it's it's amazing whenever you get to stare the stage with another artist who is as big as some of the people like I've gotten the chance to open up for before. I remember one time, it wasn't necessarily me opening for Garth Brooks, but um, I was backstage at the Country Music Hall of Fame and he literally walked into the dressing yeah. room and I, I literally like almost started crying because yeah. <laughs> it just, it wasn't real. It, yeah. it was insane. And so we got to talking with him and he like introduced himself to all my bandmates. He was like, hi, I'm Garth. And I'm just like, mm. Yeah, and you know, then, I can yeah. definitely feel that way because I'm not from Nashville. I'm yeah. from Iowa. So literally this morning when I was downtown by Music City yeah. Hall of Fame, there goes Brett Young on a scooter. And I was Casual. like, you know, it's just one of those things <laughs> where you're not yeah. used to it when you're in a new realm. So why do you feel like Nashville is such important to your career? Well, I feel like Nashville is just one of those cities that is just blooming with opportunity. I'm really excited because I'm living here this summer for like the longest time I've ever lived here before. And so I have, you know, the opportunity to write with more people and to meet mm -hmm. with more people who live here permanently and to play more shows up here and get to know more of the people and the culture here. It's just, yeah. it's kind of the city of opportunity for music. Yeah. And so definitely, so I'm a huge supporter of female in music because yeah. it's, it's a hot topic right now. It is. So what's it like for you being a female and getting started, especially at a young age? How did you face the challenge? that might have came about yeah so obviously there is a bit of pushback for female and country radio and just in country yeah. music in general and so that's kind of difficult when you're facing those problems head-on but with support from people like you and from different organizations who are you know looking to put females first and get us that equality that we kind of need in order mm -hmm. to compete with the male artists out there that's been really helpful and it's just honestly such a good thing that we have that yeah awesome so i got a couple more questions for you my next question is what can fans expect i know it's cma fest week yeah. what do you have going on any new music release in the next few months whatever you can tell us so much there's so much going on <laughs> it's hard for me to remember it all but i have a few shows this weekend I have one actually in a few hours at the, do at the dog house saloon and then we're having a show at the beauty act lounge and then we're doing you know the show for female music nation on Saturday yeah. and then I have a music video coming out very soon don't know when we just got the final cut so Perfect. I'm really excited for it it's for holding her hand and I'm really excited to release it because we did that video with a few of my friends got to come up with the concept yeah. for it and it's just very it it's very narrative driven I'll say that yeah. And then we have the next single coming out from the next EP on June 28th. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> so it's, you're getting very close. Oh, yeah. No, there's awesome. so many things going on at once. It's just, ah. <laughs> yeah. So for our people who haven't heard of you and now have yeah. heard of you because of our interview, where can they follow you at? <laughs> Well, you can follow me at my website, which is just www.liddyclark.com, L-I-D-D-Y-C-L-A-R-K. Or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, at Liddy Clark, L-I-D-D-Y-C-L-A-R-K. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And make sure you stay tuned to Music Update Central for more CMA Fest coverage.